begin our research project, we need to state our hypothesis. A hypothesis statement gives us an idea about what we're researching. And from these statements, we can tell two things, what specifically we are researching or measuring, and what two groups we are comparing. Each hypothesis statement actually has two portions. The first is called the null hypothesis. This is the baseline, or what you may think of as the control group. All groups are equal, or that there is no treatment effect. For example, if you were comparing the effectiveness of diabetes education on patient insulin levels, this would be your control or baseline that education had no effect. The symbol used for the null hypothesis is the H with the subscript zero, and it is often referred to as H zero or H sub zero. The alternative hypothesis includes the specific case or claim. What effect do you think the treatment will have? For example, in my diabetes education, I may think that education will decrease insulin sugar levels. In your alternative hypothesis, you have three options, the greater than, less than, or not equal to case. When we state the alternative hypothesis, there are two frequent symbols used. Our text makes use of the first one, H sub 1 or H1. However, many other authors will also use the H sub A or H A as a symbol for the alternative hypothesis. Both are acceptable. Now let's take a look at how we can write these for our own specific research questions. I'm going to perform a research study on my students to determine whether an e-textbook is more effective than a physical paper copy textbook. Let's take a look at how we can state these hypothesis statements two ways. The first one will be the written out in words version where we actually write out what we think will happen. So I'm going to write out my null hypothesis. And I'm going to say that my null hypothesis is that everything is equal. So I will split the class into two groups, give half of the class a physical copy book and half of the book a class an e-textbook only. My null hypothesis or baseline is that the average grade for the e-text group is equal to the average grade for the physical text group or at the end of the course, the average grades will be the same. In contrast, my alternative hypothesis will be what I think is going to happen. Now let's pretend I am the publisher of an e-textbook or the distributor. I might really strongly want this research study to show that students with an e-text do better. So I'm going to make that my alternative hypothesis, or what's called my claim. I'm claiming that the average grade for the e-text group is greater than the average grade for the physical text group. In the alternative hypothesis, we put our specific case greater than less than, or not equal to. Those are our three options. We can also write these hypotheses out statistically. Statistically involves using the statistical symbols for mean and all of our math operations. So let's take a look at how to do this in Microsoft Word. We're going to insert an equation. Once we insert the equation, we're ready to type the equation here. So I'm going to type my null hypothesis. Now the null hypothesis is typically represented with the H sub zero. I will click on the script and choose the sub box or below. 
my H in the base, and my zero in the script, the subscript. Next, we want to find the mathematical symbol for mean, and that's located in the math symbols area. I will have to do a little bit of scrolling before I find the mean symbol. Now, there are several ways to write this. I might write the group as a subscript. So I might write mean of e text is equal to and I'll plug the symbol in for mean again, mean, and I'm just going to call it P text for physical text. It's okay to abbreviate. Now, if you'd like to be smart, you may just copy by highlighting that and then making it your alternative hypothesis just by changing a few symbols. The HO will then become HA for alternative, or you may see it written as H1. Both are acceptable terms for the null hypothesis. And then we'll go ahead and adjust our math symbol from equals to the specific case, in this case, greater than. We now have two statements. We have the written out version, and we have the statistical version. Both versions of your hypothesis statements are required for this week's SPSS assignment.